behalf of the Florida Citrus Industry, producer of America's finest oranges, grapefruit, and tangerines, with Al Thaler, Ray Delmar, Ray Morgan, Don McInerney, and featuring the Mellow Arts, Authors and Princes, with music by Milton the Lug and his orchestra. Did you hear the big news? Sure, isn't it great? Shanghai's number five on a hit parade. Who's no, going no, to kiss no, me? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, Tom. No, Who's no, going no, to no, no, me? No. I mean the real big news. What? We've got a new sponsor. Huh? We have? Yeah. Who is it? Well, I'll tell you. Seeing as how Tony's from Florida, she should have the honor of telling. So the new... But this must be put in quotes. This is very important. Oh. Now, the new sponsor is, quote... The Florida Citrus Industry. Unquote. That's wonderful. Not great? Yeah, but where's Doodles? Well, he's due here any minute. See, he's been down in Florida talking to the sponsors about... Oh, here he comes now. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. How are you tonight? How are you? Well, hello, fellow Lars. Hi, Hi Doodles. Hello, Doodles. Hello, Doodles. hello Doodles. How are you, Dad? Uh, just put these in the vault, will you? Thanks. Gee, Doodles, you look grand. How was Florida? Oh, excellent, excellent. Beautiful hotels on the boardwalk, beautiful girls on the beach. Where'd you spend most of your time? <laughs> <laughs> Does that answer your question? <laughs> Shouldn't have asked. Hey, Doodles, how are the sponsors? Oh, wonderful people. I mean, they were really swell. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, the greatest people, and not only that, but they bestowed a special honor on me. They named me Lemonhead of 1951. Hey, wonderful. And to show my appreciation, I think we should sing our song that we wrote about them, shall we? Right. right. Hail to me, our noble sponsor, Neat the Florida sky so blue. <coughs> How we love your tangerines, oranges and grapefruits too. The juices are the finest found in cans, both plain or froze. They're the healthiest and the tastiest that anyone ever squoze. Here's a refreshing thirst quencher for the whole family. Pure, full-strength Florida orange juice that comes to you in convenient cans. So easy to serve and so economical. A full, big glass of natural, vitamin C-rich Florida orange juice costs as much as one-third less than a year ago. Next time, lay in a big supply of refreshing, delicious Florida orange juice. Make it a rule. Morning, noon, or right now, refresh with a full, big glass this much of nature's sweetest, delicious Florida orange juice. How do you like that? Isn't that swell, a new sponsor idea, Mill? I think that's wonderful. No what? fooling. Can I tell you something? What? I'm in a mood for a story. So am I. I think I'll tell a story. Go. Tonight's story is about the adventures of our little friend, Elmer the Rabbit. <laughs> Elmer was a very happy little rabbit. He was born in Girdle, Indiana. You know, Girdle, that's right around South Bend. Mm, not tonight. <laughs> and Elmer the Rabbit used to hop and hop and hop and hop and hop and hop and hop. And hop. <laughs> what happened? A very hoppy little rabbit. <laughs> One day, Elmer the Rabbit saw a beautiful girl rabbit. She cocked her eye at him. He cocked an eye at her. And there they stood together, cockeyed. <laughs> and Elmer's father saw his little son, Elmer, and he said, I must tell that boy a few things. So he looked at him and he beckoned him over. And he told Elmer all about the birds <laughs> and the bees. <laughs> But when Elmer heard this, he said, I'll stick to rabbits. <laughs> so he started chasing the little girl rabbit. He started to chase her. He chased her down to Cuba. He chased her to France. He chased her to Cuba. 
Station to Scotland. <laughs> and suddenly she said, stop. I am a Welsh rabbit. I come from Wales. And Elmer the rabbit laughed and laughed and laughed. Because he knew that rabbits don't come from Wales. Rabbits come from rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of our tale. Flash and bam. take you to a typical American supermarket in Orange, New Jersey. As I was shopping here today, I suddenly heard my grocer say, Step right up to the fruit juice stands, I've got a good buy on juice in cans. I took my girl, I turned her loose, so I could buy the orange juice. Run along, my chickadee. Your mama's going on a buying spree. Buying spree, buying spree. Now I know all of you ladies here, and I'm giving you a real good steer. Buy a dozen cans or so. The price right now is really low. Really low. The juice is full of vitamin A. You eat it constantly. So if you want to keep your energy high, every day drink a fresh supply. Fresh supply, fresh supply. They're frozen, you'll keep slim. They don't add sugar, you'll keep in trim. But if you're slightly overweight, <laughs> Overweight? Why, Mrs. Muldoon, I wasn't even glancing in your direction. <laughs> ah, but it's true, ladies. There's no sugar added to Florida fresh frozen concentrate. It's just the pure juice from the nature's sweetest oranges. They're fresh, fresh frozen. They're from the trees. They're fully ripened on the trees, fresh frozen, to bring you all that true, natural, thirst-quenching flavor. So if you're slightly overweight, drink fresh, frozen concentrate. Concentrate, concentrate. I loaded up my basket full, cause I'm a wife who's sensible. That I remembered like a goose, that I forgot the grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice, grapefruit juice. I keep my family in the pink, a few cents only for a great big drink. My fame has traveled far and near. Who makes the scissors disappear? Orange juice, grapefruit juice, orange juice, grapefruit juice. Come, Papoose, bring the juice. 